Hello, this is Erin Jens, web editor for the National Provisioner. I'm joined again by Hank Lambert, CEO of Pure Bioscience, a company dedicated to food safety in homes and quick service restaurants. Thank you so much for joining us again, Hank. Thank you, Erin. Good to be with you. So, Hank, how well would you grade the meat and poultry industries on food safety today? I would give them very good grades. I think there are always challenges and the industry is certainly always on the lookout for and open to new and better ways to control the potential risk of pathogens uh, being persistent through the processing of meat and poultry. But I think, you know, in general, the industry leaders are using the most advanced food safety practices and protocols and interventions and doing a very, very rigorous uh, job of ensuring that the consumer of their processed meats are protected to the greatest extent possible from any potential presence of pathogens. And what best practices stand out for you among meat and poultry processors who are doing it the right way, so to say? Well, in terms of best practices, I think those processors that are using the most advanced and efficacious processing aids and interventions in the processing of their meat and poultry are certainly following best practices. I think the processors that have preventive controls in place, and I know you know certainly all the leading ones do, and also that would have preventive sanitation programs in place to ensure that the environmental risk of pathogens being transferred to processed food is minimized. Those certainly are among the ones that are exhibiting best practices. Uh, I think, you know, there's a growing need and certainly market demand and regulatory demand for preventive controls coming from the FDA out of the Food Safety Modernization Act. So those processors that are ahead of the game and have already implemented those preventive controls and certainly most of the leading processors uh, that I'm aware of in the, in the meat and poultry industry are ahead of the game in implementing preventive controls. Those are certainly among best practices. All right, and what are the one or two most overlooked areas currently for processors in terms of food safety and sanitation? With regard to overlooked areas, I would say rather a couple of key areas of focus for processors. One would be the persistence of salmonella through the processing of poultry in particular. It is a top priority for the USDA with their salmonella action plan and there is a constant search for more efficacious processing aids or interventions to reduce salmonella contamination risk in poultry sold to consumers. A second area that I would point to is the risk of listeria contamination, which is often present in processing operations, and the constant search for better solutions to address the risk. We have a product at Pure Bioscience pure hard surface disinfectant that has proven to be superior in the remediation of listeria contamination in processing plants. Now, I guess a third area that may be somewhat overlooked is that of the toxicity of the chemicals currently being used in plants for environmental and surface disinfection. Most of those in use today are potentially highly toxic to employers and the environment, and they carry warning labels. Our pure hard surface has the EPA's lowest toxicity rating and no warning label, making it both user and environment friendly. All right, Hank Lambert, CEO of Pure Bioscience, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Aaron.